we are going to find the exact value of inverse secant. Here we have y is equal to inverse secant of negative 2. And we want to find the exact value of inverse secant. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the secant of both sides. So if I do that, we have secant y is equal to negative 2. Now, it is much easier to evaluate cosine of y instead of secant y. So I'm going to use the fact that cosine y is equal to 1 over secant y, or you can think of it as secant y is equal to 1 over cosine y. So by applying that analogy, we have cosine y is equal to negative 1 half. Now we are going to ask ourselves, where on the unit circle does cosine of y equal negative 1 half? So if I look at my unit circle, we know that at 2 pi over 3, we have coordinates negative 1 half root 3 over 2. And we also know that at 4 pi over 3, we have coordinates negative 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. Sure enough, we see that at these two angles, we get cosine of y is equal to negative 1 half. Remember that coordinates are in the form AB. So in the form A comma B, Cosine takes on the A coordinate, whereas sine takes on the B coordinate. And sure enough, we see that negative 1 half is in our A coordinate. Now, we can't just choose any value for Y. We must consider the range of inverse secant X. But how about we first look at the domain? So the domain... of inverse secant x is from negative infinity to negative 1 union from 1 to infinity. And the range of inverse secant x is from 0 to pi over 2 union from pi over 2 to pi. Notice that we're using parentheses. This means that we're not actually including pi over 2. Now, clearly we see that negative 2 is within the domain. So we see that our domain is satisfied. Now, let us look at the range. Which one of these angles satisfy the range? Well, we see that 2 pi over 3 will be the only angle that we can choose that is within the range. Because we said that it is from 0 to pi over 2, but not actually including pi over 2, and from pi over 2 to pi. And here is our angle of pi. We see that if we start from zero and come around, we are within our range because this region here is what we're looking at. So we see that cosine of 2 pi over 3 gives us negative 1 half, which means that secant of 2 pi over 3 will give us negative 2, which means that 2 pi over 3 is equal to our secant inverse of negative 2. And sure enough, that's what we want to find. We want to find what is our value for y. So we can say that our y is equal to 2 pi over 3. Okay? And that is how you find the exact value of inverse secant.
Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.